Hello, everybody. I'm Mrs. Okajima from Laura Elementary, but everybody calls me Mrs. O. I want to just have a little video with you. It's kind of a weird time right now with the distance learning and getting to know the incoming uh, preschool families that are incoming to kindergarten. So some things that I wanted to talk to you about is what you can expect from your kindergarten year for your child. Transitioning from preschool to kindergarten is a big step and can make people, especially parents, nervous. So I'm here to talk to you about some things that will make it easier for the transition for your preschool child. So one of the things is prepare your child ahead of time. Make sure that you're letting them know that they will be leaving their preschool setting and going into the world of kindergarten. And they're going to make new friends. They might see some old friends, but it'll be a time to transition. So they need to know ahead of time so that they feel comfortable. Even going to the school when it reopens, going to the school and showing them where their building will be, where they be, might be lining up, which is next to the kindergarten wing, doing all these things before school starts again in August. So one thing also is that rules are most of the time similar to preschool. Um, at Laurel, we have the three Bs, be safe, be responsible, be respectful. And each classroom creates their rules within those three standard three Bs for the Laurel Elementary. Preparing yourself as a parent beforehand. At Laurel Elementary, the first week for kindergarten is a rotation schedule. So what I mean by that is every uh, group of children, there'll be different groups, there'll be four groups. They will each have a color. We have four kindergarten teachers. So one color will go to maybe Mr. Wilkins for the one day. The next day, that color might go to Mrs. Cox. The next day will be Mrs. Co Ms. Copes, and the, another day will be could be me. So each day, one color will rotate through each kindergarten classroom for the first week. And the reason we do that is so that the children get to know all the kindergarten teachers, all the different styles, and so when they go on the yard, they'll know at least four teachers by the end of the first week, so they can get comfortable. Also, we want to make the best classes possible for your child and the environment they're in. So we try to fit who works well with what, who, and who works well with this student, or which groups work well with each other, and we try to base it off of that. So I know it's a little confusing, but know that we've been doing this our third year doing it, and we're getting a system, and you'll understand it as you go along, but it's something to just let your child know. They're not gonna know their teacher right away. They're gonna get to know all the kindergarten teachers. And on the fifth day of that first week, they will be placed with their teacher for the, for the remainder of the year, okay? So that's something new. It's called the Laurel Lion Launch. Also, kindergarten, goes on the big yard. That's gonna be something definitely different than at the CDC because our yard is like four times the size probably of the CDC player, maybe three times, not sure. Um, they don't stay in a little yard. They go on the big yard. But the first six weeks of school, our yard duty supervising has twice as many people um, supervising the yard. That is for safety and learning the rules. And so the kindergarten classes can get acclimated to the big yard. So it's, that's definitely a big step that you want to prepare your child for. Also, not every kindergarten classroom has a bathroom. There is only one classroom in our uh, corridor that actually has a bathroom in the class. So um, it's the one, it's Miss Copes' classroom and then the TK. Those are only two that actually have a bathroom. The other, the rest of us on the opposite side of the hallway, do not. But there is a boys and girls bathroom in the hallway. And of course, every teacher has a setup. They don't go alone. We work together. A lot of times in the beginning, I take the whole class for, for a few weeks to gather to the bathroom. We have scheduled bathroom breaks. Okay, so that's another thing to get your child used to. And we always talk about safe bathroom use and things like that. Another thing is that 
in kindergarten and in TK, it's an all day program. It's not half day like it used to be when I first started 17 years ago. So it is a full day program. It is from 8.30 to 2.45 on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Wednesday, it is minimum day, which dismissal is at 1.10. And the biggest thing too is there's no naps in kindergarten or TK. We are gonna transition into big kid stuff. So if you have a chance over summer, is to if your child still naps, to work on that because that is definitely a, I see kids are sleepy because they're used to like taking a nap and then they go to bed and it's hard to wake up. So working on that transition out, if you can, that would be great. And also when they come to school, the bathroom situation, make sure they have extra pairs of clothes in their backpack, especially um, first couple of months of school as they get acclimated to the bathroom situation. Well, I hope this was some information. I will be sending out another video with more information about how you can prepare your child academically and socially. All right, thank you so much and uh, hope to get back to school soon. Bye.